gag reflex was insane. <laughs> And it is terrible, oh, well. but it's something we'll always remember. I don't know what's going on here. We're, We're doing a picture, doing a picture. Op, photo op. Photo op. The teams are out. I'm crooked, but we're going to. Whoa. As we get things set up here. It's cool Photoshop right there. We're on Yoast Arena. That's what I, I was busy talking about my lord i should be talking about yoast yoast arena here at university of michigan where their division one hockey team plays so much history we took a little tour earlier jen oh yeah we learned about the wolverines you were working of course i was working i you know someone's got to work somebody's you know, got to pay the bills not doing it. <laughs> for god's sakes jeff's at home cleaning his nikes while you're here working <laughs> um, but we did a little tour of the Yoast Arena, which was cool. They showed us the Wolverine. Mm -hmm. um, they talked about the Wolverine, and they talked about the rich history of hockey here at the arena. Very impressive. Um, the tour, we could not see the locker room um, for reasons that were, there were some hurt players that were like rehabbing or training or something. So we didn't get to tour the home locker room. We toured the away locker room. And believe me, it was nothing that great. As per an away locker room should be, right? Right. It wasn't like when I was in Edmonton with the other, with Sam's team, the new uh, NHL arena was sick. This arena was more like you would imagine a college arena and a locker room to be. Got it. But it was kind of fun because we did it along with the, the Pittsburgh team. Oh, so nice. they were all we with together. us. Together, okay. And they were each team was sizing each other up. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, this is an NHL sized rink. We're not on the Olympic size anymore. So I was watching the game earlier, and it was uh, the folks we played this morning. Uh -huh. Against the Canes, Hurricanes. That, that might have been these guys, right? Was it Pittsburgh or no? No, no, no. It wasn't Pittsburgh. It was uh, who we played this morning. Oh, we played uh, Indiana Elite. Indiana, Indiana Elite, and then the uh, Junior Hurricanes. It was an even game. Oh, really? Um, it was four-four with two and a half minutes left. Okay. So. So the Coyotes, what you're saying, I think what you're saying there is if we play the Coyotes, our game, if we play our game, we have a chance to win this tournament. We'll have a nice little weekend. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. You know, I'm not going to say outright that we're going to win. No, of course not. We're we'll in the have red a nice weekend. Right. Yeah. It'll be nice. Yeah. We're in the red jerseys tonight. It's a 455 start. Connor's here and Jason's sister. You're on camera. <laughs> uh, nieces and brother-in-law are here. Say hi, everybody. Say hi to say hi to Uncle Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that nice? Always, always when we play in Michigan, we get to see him. Jason's parents aren't here because they're in Scottsdale at the moment watching uh, Kane's brother Kyle play. Another two hockey family. I mean, are you really living life if you don't have two players in, yeah, it's in, boring. in hockey? Um, Pittsburgh and the gold and blue, uh, kind of almost look like a Michigan team right here, but they're imposters. Coyotes in red and black. Warming up over here. There's a buzzer. I don't know what it means. Anyway. Highly technical. Malort <laughs> is, tastes like burnt tires. Oh, excellent. And Sign me up. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, does that sound good, Jen? <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> One of their advertising campaigns is they embrace how bad they taste. Yeah. So I know two of them I really like. Malort, because tonight's the night you fight your dad. That's oh, one of them. Okay. 
and then Malort, because these pants won't shit themselves. They just lean and into I'm it. And I'm sorry they? for the foul language, wow. but that's actually their advertising that's, campaign. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Jesse Crane. He's sobering up with a coffee. That's right. <laughs> what do you got there? I don't know. No, I'm good. I'm sober as a judge, Jesse. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> all right. So it's almost game time. We've got, it looks like our starting lineup is going to be EP and goal. EP. That's good because Jen gets to relax a little bit. Yeah. She's always a little rela more relaxed when her son's not in goal. Understandable. It makes it a little easier. A hundred percent. Joseph Holmes, Kane Prentice, the big boy, man child Malensky, Garen Lyon, and Caleb Green. What are they switching? Wait, they the, what is this? We've got We're switching positions on the front line? Right out the right out the gate. Yeah, Caleb Crane. Strategy. I was gonna say he's up, but he's starting on defense. And Peyton. Very interesting. I it would be fun to see them put some defenders on offense tonight. I mean, I've seen us do this before, but not right out the gate. Coach Grabner's crazy. Yeah. All right, we're underway. Um, Pittsburgh Predators in yellow and blue. Um, one of our players is down on the ground. That's Garen Lyon. Holmes gives chase in the corner. Um, La Lyon's down there. He scoots it across. Crane's going to get this. Oh, see, now this is one of those times, Jen, when they're getting used to the ice, right? Yep. They gotta so, see how it moves. And... Yeah, Kane scoots up and sends it over Garen. Garen sends it off the boards to Peyton. Watch this. Oh! Wow, over to Crane. Crane just misses wide. Now Peyton sends it back in. They've already made a switch on the lines and it looks like we're going back to normal. Ooh, Grabner uh, gets cut off on defense and slip falls down. And then Pittsburgh sends it in. All right. EP jumps on it. Getting situated Max here. sends it over to O'Connell. O'Connell punches it out. It's hard to keep up. Over to Max. Max up to O'Connell. O'Connell in the middle. Grabner. Now Max saves it. Sends it back to Grabner. Put it in. I'm just going to slow down, take a deep breath. Now Pittsburgh comes in the zone. Oh, send it against the boards. Max is there. Oh, slides it up, but we couldn't get a stick on it. This feels a little like slow motion right now. It's a little weird right now. Um, big arena, not a lot of people. Probably about seven people in this arena that holds 22,000. So that might be off-putting. Oh, nice shot. Nice pass and nice shot right there. But EP's there and leg saves it. Um, hey guys, let's let's go. Let's hear you out there. You're on Malort. You're pumped up on Malort. Let's hear it. Huh? These these pants aren't gonna poop themselves. <laughs> Face off. I mean, everyone's quiet. We need to, Jen, we need to get this crowd pumped up. You know, I can't say I'm a pump them up kind of person. No. So I might have to leave that to you. It's up to me. It's up to you. All right. Here goes CJ. He punches it up to Wilson. Love to see, oh, Wilson tries to protect the puck. Loses it. Then it gets sent back. Welch, he punches it in. Cross mid ice. And then Welchy sends it back over to CJ. Oh, winds up for a shot off the Pittsburgh player. Cam sends it up top and around. 
Now Pittsburgh comes away with it, puts it in a neutral zone, they come out of it. I, early detection is that if the Coyotes can play their game, they should, ooh, ooh, mistakes like that. That's not gonna Can't help. make mistakes like that. No, not at all. We're not playing our game right now. We are not. We have, we cannot, we have got to play our Coyotes game. Despite everything else that goes on, we gotta come down and play our game. All right, here we go. My tripod's not in a good place. Jen working diligently to get this set up proper. Kane shuffles it up. Manchild Malinsky in the zone. Takes, oh, another great pass to Caleb Crane. Defense stopped it. Lying down there over to Malinsky. I hope we don't take this game lightly, Jen. You agree? That we don't take it lightly? Yes. Agreed. I Agreed. Yes. I think we had a, a really well played game this morning and uh, they need to not rest on their laurels. They're running on Chipotle. <laughs> These kids cannot get enough Chipotle. Meal of champions. All right, Pittsburgh sends it in. Kane, Chase, around, and Pittsburgh keeps it in. Send it back around. Now, Karen Lyons shoots it off a boot. Prentice puts it together, sends it up off Crane. Crane's got it on side. Hey, oh! Tries to kind of waffle it up to Peyton and just Nice defensive play there by Pittsburgh. This um, this is such a low, I'm standing on a bleacher that has no gap between, it's kind of an odd. Pittsburgh brings it in, number 13. Greener shuts him off, cuts him off. There we go. O'Connell over to Max. Then O'Connell comes back, cleans it up. Now they send it around. Back in. Max starts moving his feet a little late. I don't like that they get shots off. I would like, I'm not liking that either. I would like Max to pressure that defender a little more. Yeah. I get what he's doing. He's keeping him from coming inside, but... But a little more harassment. Yes. And apparently, I start, forgot to start the clock on that one. EP makes a stop, and then it kind of kicks out, but the refs blow the whistle, and probably a little early, but it happens. Shift change. We got Smitty and Welch in now. Um, Cam Wilson pressuring Puck. Smitty sends it up to CJ. CJ, some daylight over to Foxy. Foxy with that ponytail flowing. Oh, a nice pass by CJ. There you go. And Foxy lifts it up over the goalie. Nice job. We got a one nothing game, Jen. That was like pretty. That was nice very pass nice. by CJ. Nicely done. Corey was ready for it. She scores. In the earlier game, we had a little fight. Um, a lot of people didn't notice, but Muhammad Ali's agent happened to be there and signed, signed Cade Palmer. Uh -huh. Cade Palmer just told coach he's quitting hockey and he's going to go be a into fighter. boxing. Yeah. So Punchy Palmer is going to be probably leaving us next season for a boxing career. Which is unfortunate. You hate to lose them like that. Ooh, off the face. Um, Coyotes are in the zone. Welchie. Oh, nice play. Malinsky just back on side. Oh. I'm telling you, that goalie is never ready for that shot. And it went over his head, but he was not ready.
Now Crane uh, had it and then loses it. Now we've got Pittsburgh coming into the zone. They send one low. EP jumps on it, covers it. Not a chance. All right, drop. We're dropping it. We're dropping the puck in the Yotes zone. They can uh, Pittsburgh controls it and then he kicks it out into the neutral zone inadvertently. I'm gonna use a bunch of. I'm gonna use a bunch of uh, vocabulary terms that are very impressive throughout the game. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, they've got someone in Arizona watching. Uh, what's your name? Looks like they're on the Pittsburgh team. Vic? Yeah. Vic Nick. Nelson from the Pittsburgh team and his family say they have someone in Arizona watching. Nick, Nick Nelson. Now Grabner makes a sweet move. Oh my God, he passes over to O'Connell. And you can't blame O'Connell for that. He was there and he did the right thing. It was just so deep. But what a pass. It was a great That's pass. the kind of stuff you love to see. Absolutely. When they can put that play together. A hundred percent. Punchy Palmer loses it, comes back the other way. Cam Wilson comes out and just disturbs the play, and then Corey's got it. She's got a little burst of the life middle. right there, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Look at this. CJ up the left side. Oh, he flips it right in front. Oh, Cam Wilson's there, but he couldn't punch it in. They send it back, and Greener's going to collect it. Greener's going to probably go over to Max. He does. Max head up, passes it, missed the pass, and... Pittsburgh's got it in the neutral zone. This guy comes through. He's got a ah! Palmer puts a stop to it and falls on it. And we've got a whistle. We're going to stop play. We got Caleb Crane and Manchild Malensky coming in. Interesting. Garen stays in at center. They switched been, the wings. Yeah, they switched the wings. I haven't been paying a lot of attention to that. <laughs> oh, off the back of Peyton Skate. Now Max sends it up to Craner. Craner! I'd love to see Craner backhands it over to. Now, play it back. We could play it back. The back is wide open, Jen. The defenders, like no one's covering them. Nope. Just got to find that. And he jumps on a puck that's kind of wobbly. Wobbly towards him, which I always get a little nervous with those wobbly pucks, like the wounded ducks. Puck. Yeah. yeah. You don't know which way they're going to go. Wounded Seen many. ducks, wobbly pucks. They put another one on. AP sees it. Send it back around. Max is side. He tries to chip it up. He fights. He gets it over. Greener. Now it comes back around to Sam Green. Greener sends it out. That's probably going to be icing. Yep. It is. It is. An impressive arena right here. It really you is. Look around. Yeah. I mean, I forget what they said. You can it, tilt up for the fans here. You can see yeah. those All the vaulted ceiling. Playoff champions, those banners up there. I don't know. I think it. I think I heard it seats like fourteen thousand or something. I'd believe that. It's a. This is a good sized facility. Oh, Cade Palmer put, uh, puts a little wrister in the bread basket. We have a shift change. We got Smitty, Welchy, Grabner, Palmer, O'Connell. Coyotes control it. Smitty sends it across. They move the puck well.
can honestly say I've never done a broadcast with my Lord. Oh, well, Grabner tries to sneak one in on the left side. It's close. I've never done a um, broadcast after a shot of my Lord, but Jen, it makes all the difference in the world. If you guys at home have the opportunity to do a shot of my Lord, I suggest you do it. We don't carry it at Zips because we don't believe in... Torturing your customers? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> Jen, I couldn't have said it better. I feel like it's a regional thing. <laughs> it is very regional. It's a big Chicago item. Uh, Welchie. He's kind of toying around with these, this. Although you could do a promotion with it, because there's a lot of people from the Chicago area. Yes, there are, and they Phoenix. love to, to drink terrible stuff. God be knows. be a good uh, St. Patty's Day. Actually, they did, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. CJ almost had that for a little breakaway. Oh, now he's, now he's got space, and no one's with him. Shoots it over towards the goalie, and the closest person was Corey. She respectfully does not poke the goalie. She's a respectful player. She is, but she fights for that puck. She's tough she's as a $2 tough. steak, but she's respectful. Yes, she is. Let's go and Kana go. screams out, let's go Coyotes. We need a little energy here. I've lost Find track of The second time. game of the day is tough. Look at the um the scoreboard's way up there, Jen. Yeah, I mean it's we way got three up I mean that's an odd place for a scoreboard. Three seventeen left in the first period. That's a one nothing game, coyotes. That's gonna be icing. Who is, um, do you think our tour guide is refing today's game? I did not get you were to not meet. There, although the tour guide it, was 107 years old. So I'm gonna say no, because these two gentlemen on the ice do not look like they fit that age category. He that predated age the Wolverine. He said that. Did he really? <laughs> I was wondering what's tougher, the Wolverine or the honey badger, but they're both part of the badger family. Oh, nice pass to Craner. Painter dumps. I will say, growing up in northern Canada, uh, wolverines were not something you wanted to run into. No, you do not mess around with wolverines. But I would bet you that the wolverines are very upset that they're using their name. It's kind of racist, Jeff. <laughs> using it as a team name like that. And of course, I just. <laughs> it's not racist. You don't name your team after something Vicious? racist or you're ashamed of. You name True. a team after some warriors or something you're proud of. or Which means Wolverine, like the right. honey badger. Right, exactly. He's a fierce competitor. Let's leave it at that, Jen. You gave me a look like Todd. What are you talking about? <laughs> Where are we going with this? <laughs> There's not much to talk about in the way of hockey, although Pittsburgh brings it in the zone. Oh, they kick it over the goal right there. That was like a little bit exciting. <laughs> now Joseph Holmes is going to try to punch it up to Peyton. Peyton's got middle, Craner. He, oh, nice keep in by Maxi. Sends it down to Peyton. Craner's there. Middle, oh, wow. Back to Craner. Grabner skating around with it. He crosses it. That's going to be over the blue line. Then Greener brings it back. Grabner over to Max. Max. I don't know what he's doing. That guy. Now he. Now they're coming back. Grabner comes back with it. Oh, they call offside. One minute left. Must have been Cade Palmer. Punchy, punchy Palmer or Kitty Cat Cade, as they call him now. Scratching and Offside. And I haven't seen a fight all year until today. This you morning. know, I haven't seen a fight in a couple of years. Yeah. Usually it's a little, you know, pushy shove. 
but to actually swing. We're going to truly miss Cade going to the sport of boxing, but we understand it's a natural gift for boxing. <laughs> what you saw was obvious, it was evident. Now we've got a bunch of nothing going on. <laughs> oh, three on one, Coyotes have numbered. Cade Palmer centers it. Right there. Who's that, Max? Max tries to send it in. Palmer tries to redirect it. Greener keeps it in. I mean, this is a 1-0 game, Jen, but do you get the feeling that it should not be 1-0? I feel like it shouldn't be. It should be like 4-0. But it's sort of neutral. It's, it's a little sloppy, actually. Yeah. I mean, there's to... only uh, collectively 13 shots on that. I'm probably going to lay, have to lay in the Fritchie and grab her after this. To have really a talk, have a serious talk yeah. with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the fans want to see <laughs> a game. <laughs> right. I mean, you so, got So, I mean, pretty even so far. We've got five shots on that. They've got eight. Uh, so they've put a little more pressure on us, but... Uh, not a lot. This is one of those games you want to get a couple goals because you got to be careful. It could slip away from you, right? It really could. It's kind it could of a get sleeper. away from you for sure. All the drunk fans over there to the right. When I say drunk, I mean Graham Cracker, Tony Constantino, Matt. Not Mike. Not Mike Palmer, but for sure, Jesse, Brandon. Those guys are drunker guys than are being seven named. pirates. They've been. I mean. I don't, who? Brandy, if you're saying that, <laughs> that'll be it for you. There's no slurring going on. I mean, if I'm slurring, it's because I'm eating good and plenty. <laughs> anyway, half the half the crowd is drunker than seven pirates, <laughs> at least, and that's what happens here in Ann Arbor. <laughs> so after one. 1-0 Coyotes. Jen is giving me that. Sometimes Jen will just give me that look like, change the subject. <laughs> and I do. I listen to her. I respond. You know, it's, it's a wide range. Yes, it is. But there's limits on ends of those ranges. Correct. Amundo. We're playing hockey here, and that's what this is all about. Fans at home. I heard a little something something about trying to get in the zips tomorrow to watch one of the games. I'm all for it. I can try to call in there to see if they can put it on a TV for you. That would be exciting. There's not a lot of sports going on. We all know that the Super Bowl's over. And then everything so else. There's no is just, football. Right. There's a little hockey and a little basketball going on. We're ready to drop the puck for the second period. We got Cam Wilson. Corey Fox. Yeah, let's get some energy in this place. CJ. Smitty, who pushes the puck up over the blue line. And of course, Welchie's in. I think Coach probably said, hey, enough is enough. Let's start scoring. Yep, yeah, let's put some pressure on this. We yeah. gotta up the energy. Down in the corner, scrambling. No. If the Coyotes would listen a little bit, remember, you can punch it out to the defense. Oh, nice play by like Smitty. It. Way to keep it in. Like a shortstop right there. He keeps the ball in front of him. He kept the puck in front of him. Now we got Welchie pinching in. He sends it. Now he gets it again. They send it down. That probably sh nobody over there but Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh sends it in. They control it. I don't like this. Like too much time with the puck. Ooh. Why? EP makes a great stop. Great they should stop. never have the puck that long. Never. Jen, you can tell right away when there's trouble over Owen. Yep. 
You can see it unfolding. Peyton sends it center. Now Pittsburgh comes back into the zone and they lose it in the corner. Kane's there. I feel like we're a little nonchalant. Yes. We maybe need to work a little, little harder. Con too confident? Yeah, maybe cocky. Well, it's, dare it's I say? An afternoon game. Look at this. He's going to. Um, Pittsburgh playing with the puck underneath. Now, EP makes a smart move and traps it and smothers it. I mean, if I could, if they could hear me, I would yell at them. Hmm. Don't yell at No, I won't. While we're mic'd up. It, I won't, it really breaks it up. But I would <laughs> if I could. I mean, I'd say, hey, let's get your act together, you guys. Although sometimes I, oh, that's not a pass to yourself. Again. Around O'Connell. He's there. Oh, here we go. We got a little breakaway of Grabner. He should score this. Yeah, and he does. Off the right post. He looks to the fans to celebrate, but nobody's there. There's a couple drunk guys there. But you gotta get the fans yeah. down on the glass. We're too we're too far away. Dare I say drunk? I haven't really tested them, but it seems like they're drunk, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I don't know and if I'm that far. are even more fun when the fans are drunk. True, very true. Max kind of gives Sam a suicide pass there, which I don't, I'm not a fan of. Here, I don't want it. Take it, <laughs> even though you shouldn't have it. I too close. EP baskets it. EP following the puck well. Yeah, he's playing really well. Let's give him some credit. Give him some props on the broadcast. We've got CJ, Foxy, Wilson, Greener, and Goldman. I'd like to see a, a goal here. I feel one brewing. There's just no reason not to score. Greener. Skating. Swoops around the Foxy. Foxy. Max is coming up. I don't know if she sees him. On the other side is Constantino. Here comes back around. Max pinches. Sends it back. Nice keep. There's Max, he's got it. Send he's it, gonna send bring it. it in. Oh, Maxie, get a shot off, for God's sakes. What is that? It's nonsense. Greener's got it, comes around. Over to, wow, I don't know what we're doing here. Puck goes to Wilson. Actually, they're playing better than we are now. Offsides there. Yep, we got to start connecting. Pittsburgh's outplaying us. We gotta be. We gotta bear down here. I mean, it's one nothing. Two. Two nothing. Two nothing. Who scored the second goal? The second one? Yeah. I think that's a mistake. I no, think no, it's no. Only it, was, one nothing. it was two. I know. I'm kidding, but I don't question even remember my the judgment. second goal. <laughs> I can if barely keep knows, track of this If anyone clock remembers here. that second goal, please text me. Because I don't remember it. Help a broadcaster out. Face off goes Craner's got it. it oh! Was, it, was, uh, it was Grabner's. Grabner? Where it went. Off the, off the side, went across. I'm getting some bar. texts. Yep, 100%. See? Oh, they're talking about the oh, M on the ice. ice. Yeah. No, it was, uh, it was Aiden. So right now, Pittsburgh is just skating around with the puck however they want to. 
Smitty on defense. Nice, nice. Oh, oh that was nice play by Michigan. He lost it. He lost it. Wow. Get it out. Welchie sends it out and a nice save. Pittsburgh brings it back. They skate, they're just skating with it too much. Guys, you can't let someone skate around with a puck like that. I don't know how many times they can say it. They send it to center and Welchie punches it out. Now Malinsky, he's gonna skate right past this kid. And he does. And I don't know what happened. He shot, shot it, it off the goalie and the goalie actually gloves that second shot. I think there's two in there. But. We need to start taking this a little more seriously. I mean, I this game should be 4 nothing by now. I'm not taking anything away from this Pittsburgh team. I'm just saying. I think that tour guide put us to sleep. <laughs> um... O'Connell spins and sends it through the neutral zone. And then Pittsburgh sends it off their own guy. I mean, this is just not great hockey. I don't know how else to describe it, As, except not great. Pittsburgh sends it around. Um, pass it right to Grabner. Grabner brings it back in. Offside. Boy, I mean, I am not winning with this clock right now. What's going on? With the I clock? keep forgetting to turn it on. 901. <laughs> All right, so I mean, I hope the Coyotes can get back to moving the puck like they can move the puck and getting in their system. Jen. This has become a free-for-all. I don't think it's that bad. Um, I'm a little negative. I, I th you know, I mean, they're still, they're still working together. My it's definitely not a free-for-all. I wouldn't say that. My negativity, though, is based on the fact that I know the Coyotes can play better. You know what they're capable of. Nice, right. nice pickup from Max. Icing is the call. All right. So we're going to face it off down in the Pittsburgh zone, or in the Coyote zone. Uh, Shot off the block. Nice little save there. I mean, EP sends Shot it up the blue into line. the net, huh? Shot from the blue line. Yeah. Shift change, defensive change. Smitty and Welchie in. Oh, Cam Wilson blocks it up and goes to it, tries to pass middle through the wickets, as Jeff would say, wickets. He loves wickets. He does love the wickets. What is a wicket? Through the legs, I guess, uh. wickets. Over to Welchie. Oh, oh. wow. That puck's jumping around. They can't control it. Now they do. CJ's got space. Like, take a second. Skate with it when you have that much space and make a good pass. Oh, oh. wow. Well, okay. Cam Wilson scores off the goaltender, which I is. I think it went fan. off his back. Didn't yeah. It? I mean, or off his side. He's not sure how that went in. The goalie's like dumbfounded. Yep. And Cam Wilson, good for him. Yep. He needed well, You know that. what they say about shots that you don't take. That's right. They never go in if you don't take them, Jen. 100% and of the shots you don't take. Exactly. Don't go in. And like you said, hockey is a game of centimeters, inches. Yes. Yes, it is. Crazy things happen. So that's good. All right. The Coyotes are now up to be zero. I'm going to start to relax, Jen. I think it's okay to relax. And think a little more positively. Yes. Is that 
I got a text from Heather Grabner. Find and the positive said, moments. Think a little more positive. Heather's very positive, except when she's sick in a hotel. Now we've got Lion coming up, tries to hit big Manchild. Manchild saying, I had three goals this morning. I wouldn't mind one this afternoon. Back to Welchie. Welchie wisely back to Lion. They're going to send it down. Oh, right in front for Malinsky, buddy. Oh, what happened? We got a whistle. They sure are quick to blow that whistle, Jen. They are. A lot of, I mean, that's the few times now that the goalie has not had possession that they blow the whistle. As a goalie parent, I'm okay with that. But at least it's consistent. It's consistent. Yeah. Yeah, we're not picking and choosing. Right. They're not waiting too long on some and blowing it too early on others. Nope. So best wishes out to Benji Grabner. I hope he's feel. I know he's feeling better finally after two weeks being sick in Quebec. Poor guy. Coyotes. Bring it out. Welchie, lifts it up. Oh, that's a, a high, awful high stick, but I didn't. It was their high stick, wasn't it? Was it? I, there's a couple that's of sticks up in here. Well, Grab that puck with your hand if you're on Knock defense. it down, yep. Smitty grabs it. Skates over. Dishes to Welchie. Welchie up to Craner. Craner up to Grabs. Grabs. Over to Palmer. Punchy Palmer loses it for just a second. Grabner gets it back. Craner's going to give chase. Now Pittsburgh comes out with it with hard charging. Don't trip. Punchy Palmer was tempted to trip, but he did. Now Pittsburgh, they're offside. Wuzinski gives it his best effort to get out, but he couldn't get out in time. Couldn't quite get there. There's a lot of back and forth there for a second. I, I lost the puck. Kitty Cat Cade, after that last game with Kitty Cat, like just bruising up that kid. Nice. Unbelievable. And we got a face off in the neutral zone. Coyotes control it. There's Kitty Cat, he goes towards it. And comes out with it. Oh, O'Connell waits for him. Kitty Cat shoots it up over the goal and into the net. I mean, at this point, Cade Palmer doesn't even want to play hockey. He just wants to fight. He just wants to box. What do you think, Jeff? <laughs> you know, we're focusing I mean, on, on new things. <laughs> I'm totally teasing fans at home. Cade Palmer does not want to fight. He wants to play hockey. And he's an excellent hockey player. Excellent hockey player. But we are giving him a little tough time. Uh, Coyotes try to bring it in, but Pittsburgh fends it off. Now they bring it in. Joseph Holmes is there. Tries to, oh, nice pass, but Grabner swoops in. Swoops. I mean, there's no better word for that. Swoops, and he passes it through the legs. Oh, they didn't call off sides. Kitty Cat Palmer was three feet off sides, but they didn't call it. That was They're surprising. probably afraid that he'll beat them up. They've already heard. That's what happens. The rep, you put the fear of God into people when you see like the way he fights. And the goaltender makes a nice little save, and you got a shift change. We're going to drop the puck five minutes, eight seconds in the second period. We got Wilson, Corey, CJ, Greener, and Goldman. Uh, the puck's just sitting there. Nice play by CJ. Max comes up with it, passes it middle. Oh, nice play. CJ makes a heads up play and just like, I like this. slaps starting it to towards the pressure. goalie. Uh -huh. Starting to catch up on yeah. the uh, shots on goal. And Are we behind? Yeah, we yeah, are. We were behind. My God, that's we were quite amazing. a bit behind. So I'm going to suggest balancing this out a little bit. Shots on goal. 
I'm seeing more pressure this period, which is good. The ref says, let's drop the puck. Oh, you can't do that. You're out. Sends Cam Wilson packing. Corey comes in, sends it over to Cam. Oh. No! Wow, that puck was there. CJ took a whiff at it. Cam keeps it in the corner. Max keeps that in through the offensive player's legs. Max is going to pinch up. He does. Oh, he loses it. You better get back. CJ hustles back. Pressure's puck. Max gets in the middle. Greener's there. Greener, that stick is unbelievable. Up to Cam. Max is on the right side. He's coming in. He gives it to Corey. Corey dishes. Nobody there. Nobody there. Wow. Cam Wilson hustles back and Greener thwarts that effort. Greener very efficient on defense. Now they come back up. Oh, Corey tries to send it over to Craner. Craner goes deep in the corner. Shift change for the Yotes. Peyton comes in. Welchie, Lyon, and Smitty. Wow. Pit, uh, Pittsburgh player tries to take it down the middle, but the defense thwarts it. Smitty comes out, takes a look. Peyton, nice pass over to Crane. I love seeing that. Crane nice sends it back to Lyon. Oh. Lyon backhands, but nobody there. That's, the, that's good hockey, though, Jen. Coyotes send it deep. Some good passes there, Jen. Oh, nice move by Craner. Excellent passing. Huh? Excellent passing. Yeah. Welchie gets by Welchie. But Smitty's back. Let's see. Peyton's... No, no penalty. Good. Um, Peyton was playing some defense. Good hustle play. Did not trip, but could have been interpreted as a tip. The uh, opposing fans were definitely interpreted. They were calling for it. Yes, they were. Matt's hustling down. He either has to go to the bathroom or is Patrick okay? Uh, Joseph up to Palmer. Palmer gives it to, tries to get to O'Connell. O'Connell races for it. It's a stalemate down in the corner. Now it comes around the Prentice. Prentice flips it, backhands it. Now Pittsburgh comes into the zone, makes a nice pass. Oh, nice shot. Palmer had to be. Oh. And they put it in front and they score, Jen. Well, you know, when you put it, you, know, you sometimes you just can't do anything with us. You no. know, they're up on a tee. So yep. What did we talk about yesterday? Six, six feet to 15 feet out? Definitely not the goalies, not the goalie situation right there. I feel like we just kind of lackadaisically played that into the defensive zone and didn't didn't handle it like we should, but it happens. It happens. Pittsburgh whistled for offside. We're going to drop it in the neutral zone. Peyton taking the face off. Wilson, Molenski, Constantino, Greener, and Goldman. Up to Constantino. Tries to get it in. We got to get on sides. Now we do. CJ brings it in. Little fancy stick work. Oh, a dipsy do. He's still working for it. Oh, nope. Peyton um, just incidentally runs that kid into the boards. I don't know. I think the call is offside. Um, Peyton's looking at them like, like, are you whistling gonna... me? Am I going into the box? What's going on? 
Is it a two and ten? Is it what is it? <laughs> He's is like, it you're calling roughing? this, right? <laughs> yeah. But I didn't do there, anything, there but I'm pretty no sure you're call. gonna call me. Okay, no call. Good, they, good, good. Very accustomed to getting calls against him. Up to Wilson, Wilson and Malinsky. Malinsky gets it in, puts it in front, goalie chips it away. Puck's bouncing around. Coyote's trying to gain control. EP jumps on it, says, uh, we're gonna slow things down. Yeah, 56 minutes, 56 seconds left in the period. Part of what you talked about earlier today, Jen, Manage is the, the goalie game. controlling the game a little yeah, bit, right? Managing the momentum. Right. Says, let's slow this down. We got 56 seconds. Let's do a face off and let's get this situation taken care of. Now, Coyotes handle it. They come out with it. Oh, and back to Corey Fox. Oh, nice move. Wow. I like that. Corey wishes he had that one back. Great and play. Then Caleb great. in there right behind her. I mean, trying to get that rebound. Great play by Corey. Mm -hmm. All the way she created that for herself. Um, and Caleb was there. The goalie made a nice play on it, right? He did. Controlled that rebound. He wasn't. If yeah. he had kicked that out, that's a goal. Absolutely. Now the Coyotes have it deep in the corner. Smitty. To Grabner, back to Smitty. That's a nice play. Oh! oh! Oh, he grabs it and he drops it. Crane's there, putting pressure on it. And Gra uh, Foxy comes out with it. Oh, Grabner shoots with a nice leg save by the goalie. Grabner comes back away with it. Welchie helps. Can't control it. Now it goes back to the Yotes. Craner with a nice move. Oh! Great pass. Corey Fox shoots it high, and the goaltender makes a great play on it. Pass that puck back. You don't always have to go inside with it. Welchie was wide open on the outside, but Ooh. they'll get that as they continue to yeah. grow and evolve. Much better period. Great that was, one, though, that was exciting at the end. Yeah. We got a lot of hockey left, Jen. 15 minutes. We do. 15 minutes. Um, I'm looking over at the fans. A couple of hockey dads. Still drunk, probably. Maybe not as much as the beginning. They've sobered up a little bit. Yeah. The refs are taking it easy. Getting a little breather. Working hard. Coach Fritchie and Coach Grabner talking to the team. Actually, I'm Braden's are making they, snow piles. Are they They're clearing out the snow piles? Braden working diligently on the ice. Do you notice that? Yeah. He always cleans those snow piles and then he creates his snow piles which down by the smart, net. Which is smart, which is genius. Cleans, cleans Slow the crease. puck down, right? Yep, on the side. Yeah. Yep. So, Coyotes are ready. They got Molinsky. Looks like Goldman Green. Molinsky, Palmer, O'Connell, and O'Connell. And of course, EP. In that. Playing a great game. Very good game. Constantino is texting me. I say Constantino, not Constantino. Pay attention. I mean, he's drank so much Malord he can't hear clearly. For all I know, his father-in-law is at home drinking Malord. <laughs> anyway, Pittsburgh comes away with it. They bring it deep into their net. Greener's there. Oh, nice idea. It Makes does it get through, but O'Connell sends it over the goal. Palmer in the corner. Pussycat Palmer. Kitty cat. 
Kitty cat. Kitty cat Cade. Or pussy cat Palmer. No, where, where is that coming from? This oh, move, the, like the, on the, like they're on a scratch post. Uh oh, Max, get there. All right, good. EP was on top of that. No one was really open there. But I would like to see us get into our system a little bit, pass the puck, move the puck around like we can do. Yep. Have, there been, any, doing it. have there been any penalties in this game? Not a one that not, I can remember. Not yet. Not, not one. one penalty. No. You know, the the fans were complaining about uh, no zips power plays have been. The only penalty I've seen is Tony Costatino <laughs> busting my chops. Now Brabner comes in. Oh, he had the left side open. Costatino was open um, and grabs, you know, he's fantastic with the puck, but sometimes you got to pass that thing. Now he's got it again. If there's a battle for the puck, watch this. He's going to pass it here. Beautiful. There's a nice pass to CJ. CJ Costatino slaps it in for all, for Tony, who's drunk on Malort. And maybe, for all I know, his father-in-law has been drinking Malort. But nice little play by CJ with the clapper to put us up 4-1, Jen. It's a good position to be in. Jen's looking at me like, look, don't use the broadcast to get back at people, Todd. It's not a tool. <laughs> Just call it like you see it. And she's right, folks. You can nice. take this out on people in some Uno later. Hey, but interesting, you know, right after I said grabs could pass that, he made a great pass. He made a great pass, yes. And that results in goals. Wilson up with it on the left side. Nice skating by Wilson. He passes to Grabner, who shoots it over the goal. Hit the net, boys. Holmesy puts it back in. Josephi. Now I think the boys are going to pick up the pace a little. I see. I feel it. Constantino feel comes in right it. Now. Yes. Oh, he tries to backhand it over to Foxy. I feel like that was the turning point there for the Yotes. I feel like we're going to really turn it on here. Smitty chases it down, takes it out the other way wisely. Plenty of space. Oh, that pass gets robbed, though. And the Pittsburgh player tries to delay, but he couldn't help it. It was offside. So we've got Craner, Malinsky, Foxy, Smitty, and Welchie in. Face off in the neutral zone. Pittsburgh wins it and sends it in. Then we get it back quickly. Off the ref. Crane's there. Oh, Dipsy, too. Fox was 10 feet off sides, but they didn't call it. You can rewind that and check. Pretty sure. They miss a few here and there. Now they're coming back at K, uh, Welchie. Welchie puts a stop to it. Pum Puck is bouncing around. Whoa. Do they do delayed offsides at the older levels? When does now, that stop? Now or when they, does it start? Now they call offsides. Huh? When does delayed offsides start? I don't know. That's that's when it gets tricky, When can we right? look forward to that? Yeah. I mean, it's the best. And then the other thing that's great is no icing during penalty mm, kills. That's a great. I mean, I don't know why we go to. When I was in Edmonton, they don't check, or actually Quebec, no checking on the middle of the ice. You can only check along the boards, which kind of makes sense, too. Mm. Coyotes have it. Max is going to race to try to get that. He stops. Don't want to get too deep there. Now Pittsburgh makes a nice little play to bring it up. Try to get it past Greener, but not a chance. Size 14 feet and a 17-foot long stick. It's daunting. Nice over to Maxi. Max! Don't get behind your player. Man, I can't teach that kid enough. Palmer falls on it. 
I try to tell Maxie, stay in between your player and the goal. Yep. Sometimes he gets a little overzealous, which and is you know understandable. You appreciate the passion. Yeah. Yeah. Puck drive is high. But you got to remember, your job is to protect the goal. Yep. Pittsburgh wins that faceoff. Twist it around. Holmesy's there. Josephi. CJ's back on the ice. You know, he's got a lot of energy. He brings it in. Sends it up off the boot of a Pittsburgh player. Now it's back in our zone. Look at CJ hustle. That, that's one thing he always does. He hustles and works hard. There's Grabner. Oh, nice redirect. Mm. Over. Oops. Back to Prentice. Prentice gathers it. Over to Constantino. And the Wilson. Love to see Wilson get another goal. Pittsburgh. Oh, my goodness. Right to the middle, and uh, Grabner kind of misses that. He wished he could have that back. I know it. Up the, to Wilson. Wilson dumps it. Oh, my goodness. Here comes Manchild. He trips. What's, uh, we got a whistle. Oh, we got a penalty. We got a tripping? They got a tripping. We got a Zips power play, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a free shot of Malort. If you're at Zips right now, just ask the bartender for a free shot of Malort. And trust me, you won't regret it. I don't think we have Malort, but if we do, it's free. You can have it. So the zip uh, coyotes are in the power play. Let's see how they handle this. Now we're going to bring it back down to the coyotes zone for a coyotes zips power play. It's four to one. Jen, I wouldn't mind getting another one here. Ice you know, I'm, I'm never going to say no to another goal. It, it will kind of be nice. Oh, Smith does a nice job temporarily keeping in. Now he's going to have to back check. And he catches up with a nice hustle play by Smitty. Nice job. And Peyton's there to help. When this team plays together, they are a worthy opponent. Hayden comes out with it, sends, stretches the ice. Craner, head up. Oh, nice play. Tries to backhand it in. Goaltender makes a nice play. Corey's got it, sends it in front. Manchild's there. It's a goal. It's a goal. That's a goal. The ref is right there. He had to see it very clearly. Jen. Just what we called for there. That's exactly what we called for. We like that. So are we going to get greedy? We want another one? I'm sorry? Are we going to get greedy? We want another one? 5-1 is good. We got 8.52 left. I would just like to see us stay structured and stay yep. disciplined. Some more shots on net. Yeah. Yeah. If we get another one, great. But cool. let's not let any get, let's not let's protect give the net. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice play by Maxi up to O'Connell. O'Connell, oh, nice little dipsy do. Brings it in the corner, loses it. Max tries to keep it in, but can't. Lion behind him, and then they tag team that, and it comes back in. Lion has it off to O'Connell. Now Lion again. Whoops, 
O'Connell. Oh, centers it. Good defense by Pittsburgh. Max, get watch behind you. Pittsburgh brings it in. I mean, it's kind of worthless to challenge Greener there. He's so good. Ooh, oh, big save. Great goaltending by EP right there with a leg save. I wish they didn't have those chances. Coyotes send it back into the zone. Cam Wilson comes out on the ice. Off the back of the head of a, he's, tra he's grabbing his head. Gre Greener sends it up to CJ. CJ's chasing. They stretch the ice. And Coyotes smother that play. Grabner brings it up the left side. CJ goes after it. Now they come, Pittsburgh comes back and they flop it in the corner. Shift change. Kaner over to Josephi. Josephi back to Kaner. Kaner a little uh, off the boards with nice pass to Grabner. Grabner to CJ. CJ makes such a move that the guy loses a stick and then shoots it. Nice stop by the goaltender. CJ had a nice look. Oh, and then Grabner needles it through. Now O'Connell fighting for it in the corner. Or, I'm sorry, CJ. CJ comes away with it. Lobs it out to the right side. Kaner keeps it in. Dumps it back in. He'll have to get back over there. They're going to send it that way. And he does. Nice. Oh, the, the Coyotes are doing a nice job at keeping it in the zone. Now they lose it and it comes in in a neutral zone. But Kane's right there to collect it. They're starting to learn those board passes, Jen. Mm -hmm. Something that you were asking about last year. Now they're learning the angles. I suggest, oh, off the goalie's pad. And we were there, but we just couldn't stick it back in. Malinsky and Foxy down in the corner, working, working, working. Oh, smart play by Craner. I mean, the more possession we have, Jen, the better. Absolutely. We're down to five, less than five and a half minutes. We're right it's, at five and a half. It's hard to score when you don't have the puck. Very hard to score. Right? We are, we are controlling this. Foxy sends it around. Prentice pinches a little and then comes back, and they're going to ice that. They probably needed a break. They ice it. We're going to go back into now, the Pittsburgh strategically, zone. one of the things that, you know, as the goaltenders get older and more sophisticated, and come out, that. push that back up. Because they're all the changing ice. shifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, re it. see what's happening. Yeah. You see they're all getting off. You can catch them. But this is not that game. At 5-1. It's a great way to practice. Right. No, you're right, 100%. Good observation there, Jen Jacobin. Goalie mom. Um, I'd like to buy everybody in the stands a shot of Malort. I think they have, everybody hey, in the stands are going to decline. <laughs> Apparently, they don't. Look at this. That's Look at these guys. Over here. Look at these guys. Hey, guys, say hello to the camera. Say hello to everybody at home. Yeah, they're all high as hell on the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've, uh, that player that got hit in the head. <laughs> the, our fans? Oh, oh no, they're having some Oh, the, a, a while ago? Yeah, the one that got hit over here. Yeah? Yeah, it's been a bit of a... Well, I don't mean to make light of anything during an injury. Let's hope he's okay, Jen. Yeah. Pittsburgh comes out. They got 2v2. Palmer comes back. Oh, wow. That puck took a bounce off the plastic right in front of the goal. Came right back over him. And EP, that was scary. He, he gets it together. He says, what the hell? And then he jumps on that puck, stops play. That's where you got to stay alert. 
Yeah. Can't come As back a at goalie? You. Yeah. I mean, puck coming from behind that's you why is I not could not play goalie. Because you like, have to be alert 100% of the time. So hard. Face off in the zone. Greener has it. Takes it behind the goal. Chips it out to Grabs. Grabs makes a nice little move. Oh, all the way up to Cam Wilson. Cam Wilson in the center. Oh, nice shot. Pittsburgh tries to clear it, but they can't just yet. They backhand around. Max is going to pinch in, and he backs off. Now CJ ch chases. I like the pressure now. The, uh, once the um, Coyotes got pumped up with that goal, mm -hmm. they've been pressuring the puck completely. Yep. Oh, there it goes. Sending it back across. Over to Max. Oh, Max puts it up in the air, and the goalie makes a nice save. Nice pass by Grabs. A little selfless play there over to the defender. The offensive team likes to help out the defensive, like score a few goals here and there. They do. Much appreciated, I know. Now we've got Peyton, Foxy, Craner, Holmes, and... Kane. Holmes, he keeps it in. Josephi sends it over to Craner. Pittsburgh tries to get it out, but Manchild's there. He whiffs seven times. Then the puck gets sent out. Josephi banks it. I love the little board pass. It's so smart. It's like having another player on the ice. Yep. And then Foxy boards it over to Craner. Oh. Craner back to Foxy. That's going to come through. Kane sends it back in. Now Craner, he's got a little look. He's got a decision. Oh! Nice little weave. Bob and weave. Pittsburgh looks. They bring it in the neutral zone. And then Manchild says, ah. I'm gonna try to score if I if you guys don't mind. Good hustle play. Pittsburgh rebounds. Bring it out. They've got three on two. Ooh, well played. EP bats it away. Oh, I love that little chip. Now over to Prentice. Prentice. Oh, a nice shot off the goalie. Scramble in the Pittsburgh zone. They come out with it in the neutral zone and send it deep. They're there to get the to get there first. Now it looks like Cade Palmer is going to have some space. Oh, Kitty Cat passes it up the middle of Grabner. Might have been offsides. They didn't call it. numbers, but Smitty puts a boot on it, sends it around, backhands it to Welchy. Welchy's got space. Nice pass to Grabner. He works around over to Palmer. I'd like to see Palmer shoot this and score. Oh, off the blocker. Jen, we're down to a minute 20. Nice play by Welchie. Gosh, our defense could be really sound. Peyton's in there causing havoc. They're, they don't call that. Thank God these refs don't give in to that. That was, oh, nice shot on goal, but EP's there. He's got to be ready, and he is. Just send it out at this point. Let's just get it out of the zone. Protect your goalie at this point. Yep. Don't let something stupid happen. Welchie's got it. Over to Peyton. Good play, guys. Wilson's got it. He's taking up the right side. Over there to CJ. Wilson shoots. 
That should do it. Oh, they don't have a running clock yet. 20 not seconds. Because it's not a differential five. Is that what it is? I think so. This weekend? So, 20 seconds left from Ann Arbor, Michigan. From the Yost, Yost Arena. Arena. Home Spelled with a V. University of Michigan, right? Rich in hockey tradition, Jen. And even though the Pittsburgh team wore their Michigan colors, it did not work, the Pittsburgh team. The Coyotes in red and black persevere. Oh, a nice little pass up to Craner. Nice play by the goaltender. Good and play. that'll do it, that'll ladies do it. and gentlemen. All right. I'll go on camera. We're going to go on okay. camera like we always do. <laughs> well, we didn't throughout this game. So, all um, right, nicely done. A fun arena to play in. Really exciting for the kids. I don't, they're so lucky, so fortunate. And Jen, I'm fortunate to have you. Oh, well. As a, yeah. Yeah. It's been fun. We're going to switch around as yeah, we watch like, kids. That's, that's, more, that's more fun. They don't, they don't want to see us. Well, they like to see you. They don't love seeing me. Nice shot with the. I'm sure big. Jeff misses you <laughs> while you're away. Um, but EP with a great game in net. 5 1 final score. Coaches come out. They're happy. They shake hands with the refs. Always respectable group here. And from Ann Arbor. Who said that? Someone said, hey, Todd. I don't know who. But anyway. From Ann Arbor, Jen and Todd signing off till right. tomorrow. Till tomorrow morning. Back at it. I think we're coming here tomorrow. We'll be back.